How's it going boys and girls? My name is Kawi and welcome back to the Kara Club. In today's video, we're going to dive into a very difficult topic, which is the Roblox Studio API. We're going to talk about this part here and break things down so you can understand how Lua and the API work together. So if you want to build your own games, be sure to watch this video all the way to the end and make sure that you understand it. So with that, let's get started. The first thing you need to know is, what the heck is an API? It stands for Application Programming Interface. And to be honest, these three words is legit, overkill, and complicated. An easier way to understand this is to think of Legos. Like who doesn't like Legos, right? You can build simple things with this or the most complicated cities as long as you know how all these pieces are put together. So if you open up a box of Lego, it comes with many building blocks and some form of picture instructions so you can put all the pieces together. Like if you don't know what this is, you need to tell your parents to buy you a set and be like, hey yo pup, I'm like 14 years old and I don't know what Lego is, so can you buy me some? And that's what the Roblox API will look like. The Roblox API is what allows you to create everything you see in games. And you can create your own as long as you know how the API works. So let's take this part for example. This is one of the building blocks that you would be working with a lot. It looks simple, but the reality is there is a lot more to this part than just a rectangular brick. So if we were to click on this, you'll notice that something in the property window has changed. It shows you a bunch of stuff that you don't normally see on the part. There is the appearance section that controls how the part looks. You got the break color, cast shadow, color, material, reflectance, transparency, and the rest of the list goes on. If I were to change the break color, you'll notice that the part changes its color. If I check off the cast shadow box, you'll notice that the shadow is gone. All of these properties you see here are building blocks that make up this one part. So to make a game, you need to be able to change these properties using scripts. We're only going to go through a few of these things just to show you how Lua and the API are connected. So let's create our first script to control this part. We're going to place it inside of the part right here. You should see this hierarchy where you have workspace, art, and then a script. This hierarchy is very important. We will learn more about them later in this video. The first line of code we're going to write is to reference this part right here. So write local part equals script dot parent. So let's stop for a moment and dissect what is happening here. The first thing you'll notice is that it is using the Lua scripting language. And then there is a part that isn't entirely Lua at all. The local part equals is part of Lua. I know that because I am declaring a variable here, but the script dot parent here is part of the Roblox API. The keyword script is reserved by Roblox themselves called the Roblox global. What this does, it is referring to the script itself. If this sounds confusing, let's take a look at the hierarchy here for a moment. I'm working with this script right here. So if I say script here, it is referring to itself. That's all it does. And then the dot parent that comes after the script, we are trying to access more information about the script. In this case, I want to know who the parent is. We started here with the script. And every time I say parent, we go up the hierarchy. In this case, we will get to the part right here. This whole hierarchy is very important for you to understand. You'll use it a lot later on. For now, just know that when you move up, you are looking for a parent. When you move down, you are looking for children. So let's do a little bit more to the part. Let's change its property. So the next line of code, we're gonna write part dot transparency equals 0.5. What this does is we are instructing the script to change a part's transparency to 0.5. If you look at the viewport right now, it didn't do anything. That's because script only works when you run the game. So let's run the game and see what happens. You can see that the part is kind of see-through or what we call transparent. And that's all this script does right now. I just want to go over one important detail before we end this video. It is very, very important to know. Let's write another line of code. Art.breakColor equals breakColor.black bracket. I want to touch up on this because sometimes you will run into situation where you will find codes that makes no sense like this. This whole line has nothing to do with Lua. It is all about Roblox. 
there is a thing called Roblox data type and bright color is one of them. I just wanted to bring this up because as we learn more about Roblox Studio, you will see more and more examples of this. But for now, just know that Lua is a coding language that controls how the data changes, while the API gives you the building blocks so that you have data to change. When you put these components together, you get yourself a game. And that is all I'm covering in this video. If you are new to this whole Roblox Studio thing and have no clue what any of this is, check out my Crash Course video. It explains a lot of the basic concepts and how to use it. If you want to learn Lua, check out the playlist here. It has all the coding basics you need to know about Lua. So thank you boys and girls for watching and I'll see you in the next video in game or at the Care Club. Take care everybody.